Hi folks, Joey Ricard here with TrackSideScenery.com. In this video, we're going to show you just how simple and easy it is to install your Trackside Scenery backdrop. So grab some paper and a pencil and let's get started. You won't find any backdrops at Trackside Scenery that have the PSA, which is Pressure Sensitive Adhesive, pre-installed adhesive backing. There's a reason for that. A lot of people think it creates a shortcut in the installation process. It doesn't. It makes it harder. You see I have a stamp here. I have an envelope. Just like a stamp, pressure sensitive adhesive it doesn't leave room for error. If you see that, I can't get that stamp off. The same thing happens when you try to install a backdrop that way. So we're going to use the spray adhesive method. There are many surfaces that you may be mounting your backdrop to. Masonite, wood, plastic, or even drywall. The most important thing to consider is having a clean surface, especially free of dust. Because mounting your backdrop is so simple, there's not much you need in the way of tools. Obviously, you'll need your backdrop. You need some adhesive. You'll need a squeegee or something to smooth it out. I use a rolled up magazine sometimes. Clothes pins, plastic clamps, hold the backdrop in place, and a helper if available. There's a lot of different ways that you could mount your backdrop and a lot of products you could use to do it. We're mounting photographic paper and this is my method for doing it. For this one we're going to use 3M's Super 77 adhesive. Always read the manufacturer's instructions, properly ventilate your room. We also have a squeegee that Steve happened to have on hand. We're going to use that to smooth out the backdrop, although you could use a book or magazine. As you can see, this is a retrofit. We're actually placing a backdrop on top of a masonite board that's been painted. To start with, we rolled the backdrop out and mocked it up on the existing backboard. We clamped it in place and made our adjustments. Now that we've made our adjustments, we're going to roll it back up towards the starting position. Whether you're working right to left or left to right, it makes no difference. I like to start about 12 to 14 inches into the print and work my way to the other side. Once I'm done and the print is secure, I come back to the other side and secure that. Depending on what kind of surface you're mounting your print to, you may want to spray a light coat over the entire backboard just to let it set up. In this case we did because the backdrop was actually painted with acrylic paints and we wanted to make sure we got a good coat. So we sprayed it with a light coat and then we went ahead and started doing our initial installation. We worked about 12 to 14 inches at a time, unrolling the backdrop and pressing it in place lightly. The advantages of using the spray adhesive method came into play as we needed to pull the backdrop back just to make a small correction in our alignment. When we were finished working our way all the way to the left, we came back to do the right side. Knowing everything was going to be lined up at the showing edge of the backdrop, it all worked out well. This is just one of the many ways you can install your backdrop. It would obviously be a lot easier if you could mount your backdrop in a horizontal position before placing it on the layout. In this case, it was a retrofit and it required a little extra work of removing the scenery items beforehand. I hope you found this presentation helpful and I hope you'll visit us at www.trackside-scenery.com.